The Electro Giant is bad, and here's why. Mmm, it's an orange juice. Welcome back to Season 16, where I get a small kickback for using code uh -huh. OJ. Ooge? OJ. So thank you everyone that does do that. I honestly was expecting him to be a little overpowered. In testing, he felt just fine. And here's why he felt fine in testing, is because we were testing him at tournament standard. A level 6 Electro Giant has a level 6 zap worth of reflected damage at 120 damage. Tournament standard, level 9 Electro Giant. Reflects 120 damage. Level 12 boosted giant. 120 reflected damage. Level 13 electro giant. 120 reflected damage. Do you see a pattern here? A level 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, or 13 electro giant has a level 6 zap. It hasn't scaled up. And we've seen reports on Twitter saying that this, this will be fixed, but it's going to need a client update, meaning that it needs, needs to be in the heart update, not just like a regular balance update where they roll out a maintenance update and just roll it into the game. This needs a hard client update with the code being changed. Level 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, Electro Giant does not take out level 10 and above Spear Goblins and a few other interactions. Some people are saying that his health is really bad and it is even worse the higher it is. In ladder, he is unplayable. Not only is his health bad, but he doesn't counterattack the troops properly. Electro Wizard attacking him barely, barely dings him. In theory, he will survive a lot longer if he can actually kill the troops faster that's attacking him. Synergies with Tornado, they don't make sense on ladder. He, they, he just melts and then he doesn't counterattack the Musketeer. Now you have to deal with a Musketeer and an Ice Golem when he just expended 13 Elixir to counter that with an Electro Giant and a Tornado. I think it's too early to say if he needs more damage or if he needs more hit points. Level 13 Zap deals 231 damage that's almost double for the electro giant not only will he survive a bit longer but if he ever connects to the prince's tower that is a lot more damage on the prince's tower so at tournament standard a level 9 electro giant has the reflected damage of a level 6 electro giant so for the electro draft challenge i figured out a hundred percent win rate we're seven we're actually seven zero on my mini account i don't have the season pass on it yet but i will if i need to continue pick all tank killers give them all swarmies Give them all expensive tanks. Pick splashers. Those are the four rules you need. Well, rule number five, be good. If you can't abide by rule number five, rule number six, get the season pass because there's infinite continues. I'm sorry, but with those tips in mind, and if you still can't do it, the season pass is infinite continues. So it's it's nice that you don't have to stress about it, you know? Look at these matchups. He has Lava Hound, Mega Knight, Electro Giant. If you give them all tanks, they can't spend them all. It's ridiculous. This draft table is honestly one of the weirdest ones I've seen. <laughs> it's It definitely needs a bit of a fixing. That's why you need to bring tank killers. Electro Giant or Roll Giant. Roll Giant's going to deal more damage to the tower and it's going to be a little bit cheaper. I'm going to give him the Valkyrie just because I want to see if I can make his elixir cost really, really high. Oh, I am so giving him freeze. I have the log. I'm going to give, I'm going to take Zap. I don't really see any Swarmies right now, but I, I hope he has a really expensive deck. Let's go with an Ice Golem in the back. I'm not really happy with those picks. It didn't really have too much control. Triple draft would have been really nice for this. I've got a Dark Prince. We gotta play it a little bit slow though. I'm gonna wanna log that witch. I've got a flying machine now, cause he's he's going all out. Holy heck. We gotta wake up that ghosty. Oh, he's got arrows. I'm so glad that I didn't give him zap. <laughs> he could have zap valued that so good. So far, he has no tower damage on me aside from the arrows that he put down. He's got Goblin Gang. We'll have arrows. Well, no, I have the log. He's got a happy little witch. I can deal with that. Let's log those skeletons so my royal giant lives just a little bit longer. Flying Machine takes out the witch, connects the tower at full health. I have Ice Golem, I have Dark Prince, I have Spear Goblins to surround that Ice Wizard if I need to. I'm just not going to let anything connect. Zappy's in the back. Spear Goblin staggered out. He will have to arrows that. But even then, Zappy's hard counters it. <laughs> you have to use arrows. That, that fool. fool! He activated my trap card. I can't believe he gave me Zappy's and took Electro Giant. He's down so much elixir. I'm gonna go ahead with the Roll Giant and he's gonna have Goblin Gang to counter. So we got the log right there. I would have prediction logged that if I could, but I was down a bit of elixir. All right, I would do roll uh, an ice golem, but I got to do a dark prince right now. Just because he's got an ice wizard behind there as well. That's it. That's that's a wrap. 
Again, I'm gonna try and bait out his arrows. Heck, I'll... I'll take it. Logged him just back enough so that the Princess Tower doesn't hurt herself too, too much. Ice Golem to tank. Royal Giant in the pocket. Doesn't matter. He used his air. He used he used this stuff. We're gonna zap Rooney's that. Zappies takes out the Goblin Gang. Flying Machine connects to the tower. Royal Giant is at full health. Is at full health. There's nothing you can do when two Flying Machine are on the left and on the right. Once you truly understand how imbalanced this draft pick is, and you can pick the best strategy for it, we're eight. Zero in there. Understanding why the Electro Giant is bad, what it counters, what it doesn't counter, and how this draft works. I think we're gonna be able to go complete 10-0 now. Ha! Huh. Balloon, of course. That's gonna be better than an Electro Giant. I feel like the Dark Goblin will be more threatening to the Balloon if I have Zap or anything else. Miner is gonna work very well, and hopefully he feeds me the Golem. I kinda want guards if I need to put anything down. Skeleton's not gonna defend against anything. Oh, he gave me Goblin Cage. We're rushing the Balloon. Don't rush, but we're rushing. All right, let's see if I can get those rascals out. One hit. That's beautiful. Get the spear goblins out. I'm not even going to put guards or anything down. If I had skeletons, I, I totally could have countered that rascal really, really well. Oh. He's got an executioner. Well, I've got a spear goblin. Oh, <laughs> this is too good. Oh, okay. We're gonna need to... Yep. That was good. The guards, they, they came back for me. This is too good. We have so much elixir now. So much elixir. Those spear goblins, they ain't got nothing on us. That balloon, it's at full health right now. It's on a mission. That balloon, it's at it's full, full health, health right now. This is it. That balloon is going to connect. I'm going to split barbarians. Three on the right. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We're going to heck and rush. Just so that I can pressure them to counter my dark goblin. So that I can miner their elixir collector. Wow. And my miner is tanking for that dark goblin. Not only did I take out their elixir collector, I brought down their tower. 1,300 damage from just the dark goblin. Oh. <laughs> So good. Okay, they're gonna have Rascals and Spear Goblin. I'm gonna do a Goblin Cage there. I could do Barbarians, but that's... It's gonna get wiped so hard. So I... I yep. Rap, 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 rap. Distract Executioner. Spear Goblin or Dark Goblin in the other lane. Goblin Cage back in rotation. I'm amazing. Get out. Executioner. Yep. No. Okay. Well, he's got another one. That's actually a lot of stuff in the back there. Once I get all these positive trades from these elixir golems, that's going to be money right there. Here we go. Now I'm going to go for a balloon on the left side. There's no heckin' way. Dark goblin, baby dragon, balloon coming up. Pick splashers. Pick tank killers, give them swarms, pick buildings, because they counter tanks. Never pick Electro Giant. I knew he was going to feed me the Elixir Golem. Nine, zero. Zero, zero losses. losses. I kind of wanted to take the Snowball just because it's a little bit cheaper, but heck, arrows is so value. I haven't seen Goblin Barrel yet, so I'm going to take, give him this poison. I'm going to go a little bit cheaper for the skeletons. Hog Rider for sure. 100%. That Hog Rider is going to be so much more value. At least my arrows is going to take out his guards. This is this is good. He's got Snowball for that. Show me your Snowball. I'm just going to log Rooney's that. And then we're going to pull that Lumberjack. Oh, heck. <laughs> He's rushing with the uh, Electro Dragon as well. That's fine. Everything's fine. Here we go. I'm ready. Does he have Dark Goblin somewhere? In the back? Oh! Guards! Miner's gonna tank for that Ice Wizard. I just took out the tower with Hog Rider, Ice Wizard, and Miner. That poison didn't take it out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
let's log that dark goblin while the king tower is within range. And then I want to see if I can draw out like a uh, snowballer or something. We're just going to pressure with this fast cycle deck. I know he has no building, so I'm going to do hog rider right in the center of the bridge. He's got a lumby jack. I'll take it. Pull that downwards a little bit. Oh my gosh, look at that perfect timing. The way I knew that that Electro Giant or Electro Dragon wasn't going to splash a Roonies onto anything. Wait for the Miner to pop up. And then I'm gonna use arrows on the guards. Oh wow. That was actually a really good poison. Oh, feels bad the, when the Ice Wizard took out the Dark Goblin in the last hit. So far, he hasn't gotten through. I'm just going to pressure with a really fast high cycle deck. I gave him really expensive cards, so he's having trouble keeping up with my cycle. I'm going to do a Miner in the front. He could have guards. Very soon. Spear Goblin's there. Come on, Rogos. Wake up. There we go. Beautiful. I'm going to cycle back to my Ice Wizard. Put the Spear Goblins a little bit farther back. Rogos there. Oh my gosh. We have two Ice Wizards to defend against this. Hog Riders is going to go in as soon as that pops. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna log that upwards. Take that out. There we go. Destroy all hopes and dreams with the arrows. Our air defense was Ice Wizard cycle back to with skeletons back to Ice Wizard. Oh. That was perfection. I'm totally funding all of my electro giants into my main account with I have what 15 token doublers uh, heck yeah 15 token doublers that's beautiful and we didn't even need the season pass for that look how unfair this matchup is he had lava hound and electro giant two really high elixir decks papa C had it the worst with mega knight lava hound electro giant my favorite was with reed I took battle ram over electro giant that's just not fair and then I gave him golem so many tanks all right that's gonna be for this video as a recap pick tank killers give swarmies Take splashers, give Electro Giant away, and if that doesn't work, you're gonna need the season pass. And if that still doesn't work, on the last day, it's full of toilet warriors that are left over that haven't beaten the challenge yet. All the good players already finished the challenge and it's over. Continue the challenge? Wait, no. They need to fix this. That's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay tuned for more Code OG.